Welcome Climate Viewers. This is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at climateviewer.com, climateviewer.org, and weathermodificationhistory.com. It's February 4th, 2018, and uh, jumped on the Facebook, and what did I see? Looks like nacreous clouds staring right back at me. Anybody ever heard of a nacreous cloud? Um, I think they're pretty interesting. Over here on Red Climate Mundial, pretty interesting stuff. Got these fancy electric looking clouds over Lamas, Peru. So of course you know me. Gotta be nosy. And uh, went over on Climate Viewer 3D and because I had a sneaking suspicion that there might have something to do with this here ionospheric heater at Gicamarca, Peru. So we looked into it real quick. Let's do the do the math. All right. So I'm gonna go over here to the brand new search bar, and I'm gonna type in Lamas San Martin. Enter, and I'm gonna go to Lamas, Peru. As you can see, we're right here. And I'm gonna come up here, da, 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 and I'm gonna click on the little yard stick right over here. Boom, and I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to click right here. And you can be real accurate about it. You know, you can fly all the way down when you put it, but we're just generalizing here. So about 621 kilometers, about 300-something miles. Pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. So what do you guys think? Um, related? Big microwave known for making holes in the atmosphere, electrical effects in the upper atmosphere, and possibly some nacreous clouds. Tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. If you've never heard of a nacreous cloud, look this stuff up. It's pretty fascinating. Um, more information on this over at climateviewer.com slash harp. Uh, where you can check out my article, Harp and the Sky Heaters, where I basically break this all down for you. What is Harp? What are ionospheric heaters? What does this mean? Click here. A powerful high-frequency transmitter, typically in the 2.8 to 10 megahertz range, that induces controlled temporary modification to electron temperature at a desired altitude. What does that mean? It means you're boiling the sky. You could put water in a microwave in your house and do this all day long. Only difference is the water is the ionosphere and the microwave is an ionospheric heater or a ground-based incoherent scatter radar. Um, check out my video, How Harp Really Works, for a really, really technical <laughs> version of that. And despite its technicalities, it's now hit 100,000 views, thanks to everybody who made that possible. And I just hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is also phenomenally awesome. Thank you to everybody who's done that. Um, apparently, keep your comments coming because the bell button doesn't work for this homeboy. So despite all the censorship in the world, it does not matter. Word is finally getting out there. And, of course, you can dig into all my harp-related ionospheric heater articles by clicking here. And this is the map. So the map you're looking at right here, if you click that, it'll take you here. And this is over on Climate Viewer 3D. Um, that's not the only one right here, of course. This one is bigger than harp. Most people don't even know this thing exists, but it's been around since the 70s, amazingly. Um, the G. Camarca Radio Observatory operated by Cornell University, the National Science Foundation, and a bunch of military dudes. And of course, it's coming in at a whopping 4.5 megawatt. So for all those playing along at home, 3.6 megawatt is HARP in Gakona, Alaska, owned by the University of Alaska. Might as well fly up there. So let's go hit add data. I'm gonna go here with my Electromagnetic Facilities folder, and I'm going to click on Harp, boom. And we're going to just fly over there to that thing, why not? Zoom to extent, it's going to fly me there. So Harp's right up here in Gakone, Alaska, and it's the previous 
you know, monster ionospheric heater. Uh, first developed around early 90s, um, finished up around 2005. Blamed for the earthquake that caused the Fukushima nuclear radioactive disaster and in a famous chicken before the egg scenario many scientific papers cover how the ionosphere heated just before the nine magnitude earthquake that caused the tsunami that blew up the fukushima daiichi nuclear power plant either the ionosphere was heated by an ionospheric heater (laughs) or that cracks in the ground released radiation and the radiation from these pre-quakes cooked the ionosphere and now what's called earthquake prediction is a thing all around the globe where people are basically saying hey because cracks we can see the ionosphere heating and that means there's about to be an earthquake but call you a retard tinfoil <laughs> hat wearing person if you dare say anything like Secretary of Defense William Cohen said when he said others are engaging even in an eco type of terrorism whereby they can alter the climate, set off earthquakes, volcanoes remotely through the use of electromagnetic waves. Back in 1997, they've only got more powerful since then so check all of these out over at climate viewer 3d zoom out right here see them all around the globe from arecibo puerto rico one of the most recent rebuilds in that famous dome uh the one up in norway tromso norway and the future icecat 3d which will be the most powerful on the planet when it hits its goal if it ever does of 100 gigawatts ouch uh the one in sura in russia the nmrf down in india yes that's a field of glowing freaking microwaves and i threw this one in just because it's super cool looking it's only one megawatt they may have powered it up since i made this map but regardless man that's some star trek stuff we'll just take a go gander at that wow loving my new internet there you go so check all this stuff out what do you think uh really close in my opinion so please check out all of the ionospheric heaters around the globe as well as many other uh, microwaves in this space fence missile defense world you tell me which one's an ionospheric heater and i'll change the color from black to red but <laughs> that's a lot of microwave so leave me your thoughts in the comments uh please support my work by clicking the donate button right there paypal.me slash climate viewer and uh unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot nothing's gonna get better it's not